You might recall that a little while ago we shared with you the notion of JDI, or Just Do It Days, a time when the Photoshop team breaks from major feature development to work on some of the little things, speed bumps, obstacles to productivity, changes to the workflow, things that we've heard from users like yourselves that we want to turn back into feature improvements in the application. As before, these are things that we're still working on. They're not complete. Uh, I gave you a sneak peek of a few of them the other day, and today I'd like to show you just a couple more. Let's start with this multi-layered file here. And you see that if I come over here, and let's go ahead and add a layer style to one of these. Uh, if we want to take layer one and put a drop shadow in there, maybe we want to change the angle and the distance and maybe change the size a little bit. Any of those different variables we like. You see we can now choose to make that our default. And so the next time we come in here, rather than having to change all of those individual variables, things will look just the way we want them to, the way we like them to. And we can do that with any of these. I can come into stroke and I could say let's go with a light blue color and maybe I want it to be much smaller. Make that my default and we'll say OK. And so the next time I come in, let's just imagine we have a completely different file. Uh, when I click on Drop Shadow, when I click on Stroke, those are my new defaults and they've saved me a ton of time. For people spending a lot of time in layer styles, uh, this is really dozens and dozens of different JDI features all in one and we realize that rather than coming out with new defaults for these, allowing people to make their own will really save a ton of time. Next thing I want to show you is in our preferences, and we've made a lot of changes to our preferences. And one of those, uh, people on the Mac will appreciate. If you're using a newer MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, you might have noticed that as of CS4 we allow you to use multi-touch gestures for flicking, pinch zooming, panning, even rotating. Some people love that, some people don't like it at all. So we give you the option of enabling or disabling those gestures really quickly and easily directly here in the preferences. Another thing I'll mention while we're in here is the ability to save as to your original folder. Just to put something right back where it came from and remember where it came from. It's a simple thing, but if you're opening a lot of files and you want to put them right back where they were, it's really easy to just check this checkbox, send them right back where they came from. Last thing I want to show you is, let's say we want to go ahead and just close all of these files. Uh, and we've made some changes to them. Now if we want to save all of them, or if we don't want to save all of them, we now have the ability to make that selection apply to all of them. So we don't have to wait for the dialog box to pop up for each and every file. Now, one or two files, this probably isn't a big deal, but for someone who's in a production environment, for someone who's working with dozens or hundreds of files, building a website or doing graphic design, an enormous time saver. So there you have just a few more JDI features that are currently in development, have not shipped yet, still working on these, but it gives you an idea of what we're up to.